Welcome to Kaleidoscope is for IG. Let's talk. She's a doctor and an artist. For Dr. Shanali Pereira, being an artist comes from a place of passion and from a place of pain. She grew up in Colombo, studied medicine in the Manipal West Indies twinning program, was volunteering uh, as an ME at the Colombo Military Hospital and then went off to the UK for her postgrad. Shanali got into specialist training in rheumatology and chose to specialize in vasculitis. But in a twist of fate, Shanali became a patient in her own speciality and had to quit her medical career one year short of her consultant post because of vasculitis. Due to this rare autoimmune illness, Shanali's hands often cramp and ache, but she perseveres through. And she's also published a book titled Finding Me Beyond Illness. And on Let's Talk today, I was able to catch up with Dr. Shanali Pereira while she was in Sri Lanka recently and she told me all about it. You've had a really ironic twist of fate in your life, specializing in vasculitis and then becoming a victim of that illness that you actually specialized in. Um, what were the signs initially? When it came to my symptoms, the first that I noticed uh, was I got little lesions in my toes, um, which were like red, black, blue dots. In England, um, sometimes for the cold, you get these things, so it was easily ignored uh, until they actually, the skin died and they became lesions and they ulcerated. Uh, and then I had to go and see the specialist. Um, and they just thought skin vasculitis and that'll go away. Uh, unfortunately, it did not go away. Um, I started to get symptoms in my arms and my legs, um, which was like a heaviness, if I were to use it. Uh, and um, I couldn't drive, I couldn't see patients, I couldn't examine because they would tire very quickly. But I was telling this to people. There was no visible signs. So it took about two and a half years since the onset of it till I got formally diagnosed because I was one of those atypical patients. With vasculitis, it's a rare condition and it mimics so many other conditions. So you don't get one thing, you get many things. Um, at, and and it, if you don't line the dots, uh, it takes about three to four years for you to get diagnosed. So switching from medicine to art, what was that transition like? For me, it was like I was going on this fast train and suddenly derailed. It was very challenging for me, um, both emotionally, um, physically, you know, in every aspect, socially, because for me, um, everything I knew has suddenly switched um, and that shift in dynamics was something that was very new. Uh, and very difficult to deal with. Um, so you can only imagine how humbling it was to become a patient in your own specialty. So do you miss being a physician? The day I had to give up my training number and walk away, which was in 2012, sort of three years after my symptoms had uh, occurred, it was like all my dreams just went out of the window, you know, it was shattered. I, my identity was my work, my career. So I did not know how to identify myself. So I lost who I was. Uh, and I think um, for me, that was, the vasculitis had robbed me of my, my career, my freedom in so many ways that on a daily basis, it was a, it was a, it was a battle because you want you're, you're on work mode as a clinician, but you're not because you're a patient and you forget that you are a patient. So there is that vulnerability um, that I, I did not know how to deal with your help as you're looking for others. When you, it was almost like you're on the other side of the bed and uh, that is difficult. But why art? How I found my way back to being a person again is through art. I couldn't control my day, I couldn't control how the illness was evolving, but I could control what I create. But if I drew my pain, put a color and shape to it, it helped me to understand what I was going through and accept things and cope with it, also communicate. So that way art was a way to find my way back 
and I think also move forward with my life. If you like our show, subscribe and follow and don't forget to press like. Kaleidoscope is on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn.